get asked lots of questions by family and friends as to my love of minimalism and one of the most common questions that I get asked is have I ever gotten rid of, sold, decluttered something that I shouldn't have or something that I really ended up regretting? Now Rocco, has, have I ever done that? Have I ever gotten rid of something that was I, I maybe shouldn't have? The remote control and the angry bird. The remote control and the angry bird toy. So yes, I definitely have had um, a few minimalism mistakes and decluttering disasters and I wanted to share them with you so you can see the warning signs of when you go a little too extreme. So the first thing that I probably shouldn't of, um, I don't know what I was thinking is I accidentally threw out the remote control. When I say accidentally, it's not like it accidentally got picked up in the bin. I literally threw it into the bin. For some bizarre reason, I don't know what I was thinking about at the time, but I thought I had a duplicate television remote control and I said to myself, oh, I don't need this. Why would I ever need a duplicate? I'm a minimalist. And I proudly like threw it into the bin. Anyway, a few weeks later, um, when I went to turn the television on, because I don't really watch much television at all, um, I realized we had no remote control. Um, I had to go and buy a universal remote control. Now, if you ever had to do this, you'll know that it can be quite complicated um, in reprogramming a new remote control to your television. So I had to get someone in, it ended up costing quite a bit of money. And that was definitely one of my minimalism mistakes. So when you are decluttering, make sure you double check that it is definitely a duplicate and you're not throwing it out something that you really should be keeping. The second area where I probably am a little too strict with minimalism is stuff in my kitchen. I literally have eight plates, um, eight bowls, eight glasses, um, eight sets of cutlery, and I have a limited number of serving platters. So often when I have friends over and we're doing like a cheese plate or we're doing canapes, I have a limited number of, of serving platters to work with. Now luckily my friends know about my love of minimalism, they don't judge me and we are, have a really healthy relationship where we can laugh together and we can laugh at me as well. So often when my friends will be helping me in the kitchen they'll say like where are your, where are your other serving platters kept and I have to explain no 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 and they're like that's all you've got isn't it and I have to say yes that's all I've got. We have a bit of a laugh and I realize I do actually need to probably have a few more um, utensils in the kitchen and the same goes for my mother the other day when she's helping me prepare a meal at home asking for some just basic things where like where were some additional bowls um, mixing bowls and I had to explain I only had two because that's all I needed she was um, slightly disturbed horrified and confused but you kind of need to roll with the punches and often when I go to a friend's house and we take a platter with us of like a fruit plate or some cheese and things like that I have to always say when we're leaving, do you mind if I take my serving platter home? And that's because we don't have many at home to rely on as a backup. So really think about what you need and which items you need backups of. The third thing that I sold that I regret, and I have to say this is the only thing that I regret ever selling um, to the secondhand market and it still haunts me today probably about 12 years later. And I had the, it's these beautiful shoes. I had these amazing, beautiful, really classic Sergio Rossi velvet with like Diamonti's um, shoes and they were just timeless. And for whatever reason, I sold them on eBay and they would still be in style and really classic today and in fashion. So yes, I really regret them. And the cost of replacing those would probably be 10 times the price of what I sold them for. So yes, huge regret there. The fourth thing that I have thrown out, which Rocco will continue to remind me about and actually drew a picture of the other day, and that is the occasional toy. Often if I find a toy that's broken and I know that Rocco doesn't play, I will sneak it into the bin or charity bin without him knowing. However, with Rocco getting older and me realizing he has to do this um, decluttering process himself and I don't have that, that authority or respect to declutter for him, I've been caught red-handed, like the Angry Birds toy that was legitimately broken, he wasn't interested in, put that in the bin and Rocco is still really upset with me about that, isn't that right? <laughs> Alright everyone, thank you so much for watching and make sure you subscribe and that notification button is switched on. Ciao for now. Bye.